Welcome to 3 games. In this recap, The Walking Dead Season 11. Things are looking quite bleak in Alexandria. The resources are depleted and the group is in a desperate search for aid. Maggie is leading a team to her former place of residence, Meridian, in hope of finding supplies. Meanwhile, Eugene and his group are stuck in a shady new civilization out in West Virginia, and Carol is still fighting for Alexandria's survival, creating a trail of chaos wherever she goes, as usual. Maggie's team includes Gabriel, Alden, Daryl, and against her wishes, Negan. The group heads into the subway tunnel to try and steer clear of the rainstorm as well as the reapers. Negan repeatedly remarks how bad that this idea is, and he is soon proven right when they come across a train blocking their path forward. A few key members of their team are lost including Gage, who Maggie has let die in fear of the walkers, overpowering the whole group. When faced with the same decision, Negan decides to let Maggie die. Unfortunately for him, she survives and her murderous rage for him only grows. When the group gets separated, Maggie and Negan finally have a much needed therapy session to talk about their feelings. Negan tells her he regrets not killing everyone the night he killed Glenn. Maggie is less than thrilled to hear the mention of her dead husband, but has to admit that Negan is being honest with her and has no choice but to trust him for the time being. Reuniting with some of their group, Negan fashions them some Whisperer-esque mask to infiltrate a herd to attack Meridian, while also Negan teaches them to be more Whisperer-like. Elsewhere, after jumping through way too many hoops, Eugene, Ezekiel, Jumiko and Princess are finally admitted into the ultra-secret utopian society the Commonwealth. It is run by a mysterious governor and all too cheery deputy governor Lance. As with most things that seem too good to be true, the Commonwealth certainly is suspicious. Yumiko is thrilled to be reunited with her brother, Tommy, who she thought was long dead. She is confused to find him working as a baker when he is really a doctor, a secret he begs her to keep. Eugene finally meets the elusive Stephanie who was the entire reason for this quest. When he breaks the strict rules of the commonwealth, he and his new gal Paul are sentenced to probation and have to help clean up some stray walkers. In an attempt to save the life of the governor's son, Eugene manages to get sentenced to prison for his recklessness. Lance promises Eugene his sentence will be commuted in exchange for information on Alexandria. In Carol's path, after having to sacrifice a horse for food, Carol and Aaron Head to the remains of Hilltop to see if there are any resources left there they can utilize. What they find instead are some left behind whisperers who are just as ornery as ever. After some light torture from Aaron, a whisperer finally reveals that they knew Connie is still alive after she survived the cave catastrophe. Armed with this information, Carol forms a rescue team consisting of Magna, Rosita, and Connie's sister, Kelly. Meanwhile, a disoriented Connie has been found by Virgil, who we haven't seen since Michonne left on his boat. The two have been holed up in a big house which seems to be haunted, but in reality, it is filled with terrifying people who have become feral cannibals living inside the walls of the house. When it seems as if there is no escape, Carol and her team finally locate the house which was hidden from the road and save them from the cannibals. Connie and Kelly have a cheerful reunion. When Daryl got separated from Maggie's crew, he and Roy are able to make it out of the subway tunnel and are immediately attacked by the Reapers. Roy is killed and Daryl is taken alive. Daryl is stunned to find that his former fling, Leah, is under the mask. She and her group take him back to Meridian to meet their leader, Pope who leaves no scenery left on two. Pope is justifiably suspicious of Daryl and has Daryl go to extremes to prove his loyalty to the Reapers. Daryl complies while secretly keeping Maggie and her crew safe. When the herd of walkers begins to approach Meridian, Pope and the Reapers start to set off landmines to kill the initial onslaught of the walkers. The Reapers also unveil a super secret awesome weapon that can shoot arrows into the herd. A storm hits Alexandria and the survival struggles to keep walkers at bay when it brings down some of the walls. As night falls, the Reapers begin destroying the horde with landmines. Derry helps Maggie and Gabriel infiltrate Meridian and allows workers inside and finally confesses to Leah his allegiance to Maggie. Leah is aghast, but when Pop prepares to fire Huacha, the new awesome weapon at workers and Reapers alike, she kills him. 
Despite Daryl inviting her to join his group, Leah refuses, remaining loyal to her family with the Reapers and taking leadership of them. Leah outs Daryl through alliances to the other Reapers and attacks the group with a new weapon. Season 11 Part 1 leaves us with a cliffhanger, as the Reapers use their new and awesome weapon, the Huacha, and destroy the herd. But Maggie's group escapes and enters into a dangerous cat and mouse game with the Reapers. The group captures Carver, whom Daryl offers to trade for Leah and the others, living peacefully. After Gabriel kills the sniper, Leah takes the deal. A vengeful Maggie kills all of the remaining Reapers in cold blood, aside from Leah, who Daryl allows to escape. Afterwards, Maggie returns for Aiden, only to discover that he has died and become a walker. The surviving members of Maggie's team return to Alexandria, which managed to survive the events of the storm. There, Daryl is finally reunited with Connie. Meanwhile, Eugene arrives with Lance Hornsby and the Commonwealth. Six months later, Maggie is leading a community in the ruins of the hilltop and has a stand-up with the Commonwealth soldiers led by Daryl. Thirty days after the Alexandrians enter the Commonwealth, the community celebrates Halloween. Daryl and Rosita train to join the Commonwealth military, and much of the group is still struggling to become a part of the large, well of society. We finally meet the governor, Pamela Milton, in a masquerade ball, where a disgraced former soldier takes Max hostage out of desperation to speak to Pamela, but then flees. Daryl gets him to surrender, but allows Sebastian to take credit for his capture. Several group members also notice the vast class divide in the Commonwealth. Eugene has entered a relationship with Stephanie and tells her he loves her. Shortly after, she says she loves him too. She mysteriously then disappears. Eugene becomes obsessed with finding Stephanie and then soon finds her again, colluding with Lance for an unknown task and gets Lance to confess Stephanie was a plant named Shira who was used to get Eugene to confess the location of Alexandria due to the many inconsistencies during the group's audition. Lance tells Eugene the group is better off now despite his heart being broken by Shira. Eugene is later approached by Max, who reveals herself to be the woman he was in contact with over the radio. Even though she wanted to meet Eugene, once her brother Mercer got wind of it, he covered it up with Lance also was alerted to her breaching communication protocol and forced herself to remain quiet upon seeing Eugene with Shira. Eugene after some time reconciled with Max and the pair expressed lingering interest in each other. At the same time, we see how Maggie is suspicious of the Commonwealth and refuses to accept aid from them, to the frustration of several hilltop residents who decide to go join the Commonwealth. Lance is also frustrated by Maggie's decision, but insists to Aaron he will persevere, seeking to build up his power to get out from under Pamela. Ezekiel is admitted for surgery to remove his tumor, having been moved up the line for treatment by Lance as a favor to Carol. Aaron and Gabriel are recruited by Aaron's boss, Toby Carson, to take point on an outreach mission with a community in an apartment complex to offer them membership with the Commonwealth. Though Aaron and Gabriel talk to their boss, Ian, into letting them live with their lives, Carson attacks and kills him and many of his people. Carson has actually been assigned by Lance to wipe out the complex, believing them responsible for an attack on a Commonwealth caravan. Here, Gabriel is reunited with Negan, who has joined the complex community, and the latter covertly sends a message to Hilltop with the fleeing Jesse. Maggie, Lydia, and Elijah go to the complex to fight the Commonwealth troops after reuniting with an arrow. At the complex, the group joins forces with Negan, Annie, and the complex survivors. They learn that Negan has married Annie and is expecting a child with her. Herschel, who has towed away on Maggie's truck, is rescued by Negan and forces him to confess to Glenn's murder and nearly kills him before being tucked down. The group corners and kills Carson, and it is revealed that Leah was the one who raided the Commonwealth caravan and weapons. Lance comes across Leah, who he recruits for a job. Mercer and Princess develop a great bond, as Mercer struggles with the decision to kill his own men, helping Rosita and Daryl achieve some dangerous tasks imposed by Sebastian, the governor's son. Connie and Kelly knows something is wrong with the Commonwealth, and they started to investigate what's going on. Eugene convinces Max to continue to help him on the inside, and they kiss for the first time. Inspired by Carol and his new lease on life, Ezekiel opens a secret clinic for those still far down the list, recruiting Tommy to help him with surgery. 
lands after realizing it is hopeless to negotiate with Maggie he begins to plan an attack on the hilltop then Maggie leaves Herschel in the care of Negan and Annie telling Negan that she is starting to trust him as Leia lures Maggie away from the colony and kidnaps her elsewhere Daryl, Aaron and Gabriel are betrayed by the Commonwealth soldiers who are ordered by Lance to eliminate them as we see how the trio narrowly escape death Aaron is wounded in the process. Leah takes Maggie to her old cabin and threatens her. But Maggie manages to free herself and starts fighting Leah. Leah gets Maggie pinned to the ground and as she goes in for the kill, Daryl shoots Leah in the head. Lance arrives as Daryl shoots Leah and Lance gets shot in the face by Daryl as well. Daryl and Maggie jump out the window and make it safely back to their hideout. Then Lance vows to take everything from Maggie and Daryl. Pamela comes into the office and throws down a stack of pamphlets on Max's desk. The headline reads, Pamela is lying to you. We can thank Connie and Kelly for this. Daryl, Maggie, Aaron and Gabriel rendezvous with Negan and prepare for war against the Commonwealth. While Lance and his troopers take control of Alexandria, Hilltop and Oceanside, Lance flips a coin to decide the fate of Oceanside's residents. With this concluding Season 11 Part 2. Thanks for watching this recap, hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching, TV Glimpse.